today on You're Watching a Movie with Silas Lindenstein. I'm reviewing a new thriller set on the International Space Station. It is called ISS. You're watching a movie with Silas Lindenstein in the theaters you find us. So go and press play to rewind us. This speech that is timeless. Love it like it or we lose it, can't find it. And we ain't keen on being reminded about the film if it isn't tough. We spend a lot of time at the cinema. It's just me and my friends, we watch plenty stuff. For movies, yeah, I've been above. Whether big or they small, no, for me, don't make a difference. Love them You're watching a movie with Silas Lindenstein in the theaters you find us. So go and press play to rewind us. This speech that is timeless. Love it like it or we lose it, can't find it. And we ain't keen on being reminded. But the film, if it didn't hit, no, gotta lose it. Watch movies with my friends, bring joy, that's the blueprint. So come on in, let's do this. Leave pain behind us. And relax your mind, come watch a movie with Silas. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to You're Watching a Movie with Silas Lindenstein. I'm your host, Silas Lindenstein. Welcome! Today is another movie review. I'm reviewing a new thriller called ISS. It is rated R. Uh, technically, it's a 2023 film. It did premiere at uh, last year at some film festivals. Uh, it runs one hour and 35 minutes. Directed by Gabriella Copperwaith. And written by Nick Schaefer. Uh, the ISS, uh, it stars Ariana Dubois. The film stars Ariana Dubose, uh, Chris Messina, John Gallagher, uh, Maria Mash- Mashkova, Costa Ronan, and Palu Azbek. Uh, the story. Tensions flare in the near future aboard the International Space Station when a worldwide conflict breaks out on Earth. Soon, the U.S. and Russian astronauts each receive orders from the ground to take control of the station by any means necessary. Um, interesting fact for this film, I guess this is the first film Ariana DeBose did after West Side Story. Uh, I thought that was interesting to go from this world of, of, of whimsical dancing to, um, being on, on, uh, on a space station. It wasn't really on a space station. Just so, you know, movie magic wires, lots of wires, but I will say, I think they did an excellent job. I think they did a great job of making you feel like it could be in outer space. Like they, they use wires and I saw some making of, and I'm pretty impressed how they got rid of them. And, uh, the use of the camera as like this, shaky cam that would move around probably helped hide a lot of those elements but a lot of things you know to float and for them to move and uh they're just always kind of wobbling in space and a really fascinating the idea on how they work that and to to make sure they're always kind of moving to show the weightlessness in the film um i think where this film is its best is it does it does a great job showing the tension after you know, it says uh, worldwide conflict breaks out. Yeah, that's that is a freaky moment in the film when you start seeing little, you start seeing bombs in on the planet, but you don't know where they're going off, right? And they, there's a few things they certainly fudge. I think on the mechanics of and practicalities of of uh, being on the space station, like them not sure where the location was. I think they probably know from being up there a lot and from science and they, they know where they are at all times where they're looking at stuff. So should have been a little more obvious there, but I, I, uh, I, I think the film does a great job of creating this thriller, this, um, the tension on there, I think between with both the camera work and the dialogue and, and, and acting, they really create a good tension in there. I, I was thrilled, which is the number one job of a thriller. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. It kept me at the edge of my seat. I I was, thir- you know, I kind of watched this a little late at night. I didn't know if that was going to be a good choice, but it, it it kept me there. It kept me engaged. It's a, it's an engaging film. It, it, it It's captivating. Is it the danger of these type of films? Is, is it predictable? Um, You know, I, I definitely think there are some predictable elements in it but they kept me so thrilled i was able to ignore those most of the time and 
I I just uh yeah, I you know these this is one of the harder films to critique, especially after watching a lot of, you know, for the film critics society voting, I'm watching a lot of deep dramas and stuff. And this is a, definitely a little lighter in tone. It's a thriller, it's not a comedy exactly. There's not there's not many laughs in there. But you know, is it an important film? I I think I don't know if the film's that important so much as how relatable it is because it it you know there's not a lot of movies that take place in space that are very possibly really going to happen or c- could happen you do i think feel like this is a movie that could take place right now and that makes it also kind of nerve-wracking like oh yeah i i could see this going on right now and that's kind of scary and what would happen over there and would it even be a big deal would why why would they want people to fight over this space station that is pr- pretty much like a a science lab are there things there we don't know about i don't i don't know but maybe maybe land is just a strategic point of view or lack of land space is i don't know but the film had me thoroughly engaged and I think, I think it did, it did everything that it's supposed to. I think the cast was, was wonderful. Uh, it's a really good ensemble piece. I'll say that. Um, the worst that they did, like, like a lot of sci-fi, they definitely bent the truth on what can happen, what should happen on, on, on a space station. Like, I, I don't think they're allowed to have like really sharp knives on there in case people go crazy or you don't want to actually ac- accidentally puncture things. I heard that. I don't know if that's true. That could be a thing I made up. It's, it's, it's hard. That is the hardest thing about the internet. You never know what is true anymore. Like I read this once. Did I, who did I read it from? I don't know. So maybe it's true. Maybe it's mal- malarkey. I don't know, but I was very entertained. I was not, I was glad I spent my, my, <laughs> I was, I would have been glad I spent money on it if I had spent money on it, but I saw a screener. So it was free for me, but well worth the free. Um, I, I would pay to see it. And I think, I think this is a film that deserves um a big screen. Just anytime you're in space, I think you deserve a big screen to get that feeling in there um not like 3d i don't think you need that but this is as immersive as you can as you can get i'm just not a pro i'm not a 3d person so i'm not gonna not gonna really recommend that um the lesson on the film i man it's like it's about trust you gotta trust people you gotta trust each other and talk it out like you are bigger you are bigger than a government giving orders. And who am I to say that? I am neither military nor in NASA. So who am I to say that? But I think a lot of problems in this film between the characters would have been solved if they just trusted each other to talk instead of just blindly following these orders from something that you know the world is, you know, there may not even be governments at this point, right? So. I don't know. Maybe that's why they'll never put me out there because I would think that way. Like, well, what about people just being people? Can we just do that? That probably un- makes me unqualified. I'm sorry. Sorry to disappoint all you folks who want me to go to a space station. Uh, is it rewatchable? I mean, yeah, loosely. I don't know. I I, I probably wouldn't see it again, but. It's not, not the, it's not unbearable. It's just uh, it's a thriller, and once once you kind of know what's going to happen, I think it takes a lot out of it. I don't think there's not like a particularly like a great monologue in it to to bring me back to it or uh, incredible moments. But it's it's a good reference movie. It's a good good date night movie. Take people out on a date. Uh, no no, uh, no uh, nobody gets nobody's going to be offended by it. Except, oh, we're bringing back Russia for the U.S. movies again. Uh, is that what we're doing? Okay. Um, but yeah, 
overall, it's a nice, uh, nice little date night movie. Check it out. Uh, thriller. If thrillers are your jams, uh, get in there. Uh, forget a couple hours, get tense, and then leave and be like, oh, glad that's not really happening. Um, this it's probably not going to stay in the theaters long. They're not doing it. They we had no actual preview screenings in it, which is not a good sign. So if if you get it, if you have a chance, go check it this weekend uh, in theaters. And then if not, I hope you have a big TV because to really get sucked into it, you'll need that. Um, uh, on my scale of love it, like it, or lose it, um, I give ISS a like it. All right. And that's it. That's my, that's my review. Uh, thank you uh, for tuning in. If you could, if you enjoyed that review, or you want to hear more as they come out, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, wherever it is you're, you, you are listening or watching, hit those buttons. Okay. And, uh, and I thank you for that. And I thank you for watching a movie with Silas Sundenstein. You're watching a movie with Silas Sundenstein in the theaters you find us. So go on and press play and rewind us. This speech that is timeless. Love it like it or we lose it, can't find it. And we ain't keen on being reminded about the film if it isn't tough. We spend a lot of time at the cinema. It's just me and my friends, we watch plenty stuff. For movies, yeah, I've been above. Whether big or they small, no, for me, don't make a difference. Love them You're watching a movie with Silas Sundenstein in the theaters you find us. So go on and press play and rewind us. This speech that is timeless. Love it, like it, or we lose it, can't find it And we ain't keen on being reminded But the film, if it didn't hit, no, gotta lose it Watch movies with my friends, bringing joy, that's the blueprint So come on and let's do this, leave pain behind us And relax your mind, come watch a movie with Silas Yeah